Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction for you guys. As you guys can tell, I'm so excited for this. We have a brand new Trivium song to check out today. Trivium, Feast of Fire. That is a fantastic title. I, I'm so excited to check this out. I cannot wait. Now what's also amazing on top of a brand new song, which I can't wait to get into, Trivium has confirmed, finally, we're getting a new album. And the title of the album, In the Court of the Dragon, it just... That title, I just, I can't, I can't wait. That first song was so damn good in the Court of the Dragon. It was such a phenomenal song and great video as well. But the song stands out so much. Oh my gosh, I love that damn song. And now we have a new one, Feast of Fire. So I'm not going to waste any time, guys. Over four minutes long, I'm going to jump into this shit. I cannot wait to hear this. I am loving, loving the fact we're getting a new Trivium. And it seems so quick after the last album, but I'm not complaining. I am not complaining at all. So here we go, guys. Trivium, Feast of Fire. And as you guys know, if you've watched any of my Trivium reactions, which I recommend that. I really do. I do pause. I do go back, if, you know, to make sure I don't miss anything. But I do pause. So fair warning. Here we go, guys. Trivium, Feast of Fire. Fire. Oh. That was good. Okay. Oh, oh. Mm, that's good. That's good. Letting the bass lead. Yeah. Oh, I like the change there. Oh. The melody. That was nice. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go back a little bit. That was a great opening. I love that. I love the the guitar lead in and the, the boom. And I love the fact that the verse is bass leading. The bass is just it's it's of course Matt's vocals, but it's also the bass as well. Um, good stuff. Okay, let's continue. Let's keep going here. Let's keep going. I like this riff. That's nice, Alex. Yeah. I like this part. I like this part. Okay, I know I'm pausing in the middle of the chorus there, but I like the change up there and then the change into the actual chorus itself because that's a little bit of faster section here. Um, yeah, and then it transitions to that more melodic chorus. I like the, the melodic guitar behind this. Oh, whoa, I was like, what? Holy shit, okay, okay, get some heaviness in here, okay, and this is the infamous hanger they've been talking about for quite some time, they had this hanger that Trivium was going to be uh, buying and using, and they're using it, holy shit, anyways, let's hear this riff again. It's not nice transition too. Yeah, at first you're like, what? Oh, Oh, it's so simple, but it's so good. It 
Oh. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love you can actually see him playing it. Ooh. Okay. That bass. Oh. I was gonna pause, but hold on. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, I was wrong. I was like, like, no, never mind. There's a drum thing. I'm gonna go back. Hold on. I'll hit this part again. Fuck it. Let's play it again. Got that riff. It's so simple, but it doesn't matter. I want to learn how to play that riff. I want to learn how to play that. Oh my god. That's cool. Just all over. I'm really digging this. Bass. And then, yeah, drums, drum fill, what's a drum solo? Now, how are they going to end this? A fade out? Who knows? Let's find out. Yeah. Yeah, but he's tapping. <laughs> I would never have guessed the painting. We're still going. Oh my god. Hold the fuck up. Hold on. Hold on. There was some bass tapping in this shit. I, if you would have said bass tapping, I would not have predicted that. The drums are cool as well, and that harmonizing. And it's got a false ending, too. I like that. Yep. Yeah. It's a short fake out, but it's okay. Trivium Hanger. Yep. My God, this is good. This is really good. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. Um, the song is really damn good. Uh, I, I like how it's on the simpler side, and I, and I don't have an issue with that whatsoever, because Trivium has a variety of ways they go about writing songs. They don't just write one particular style of song. I like it's on the simpler side and that riff in the middle it's it is it is simplistic I bet when you look at the tabbing but it doesn't matter it is fucking catchy as hell and then those so that solo comes in it's phenomenal and this is why I always say this and I don't mean to put down um because I believe in the court of the dragon they didn't show them at all playing but I love it when bands particularly the ones I love have music videos that show them playing the music and I love the fact that I get to see how that riff is played in a sense if I paid more closer attention. But when I was watching the solo, going crazy, I was watching him like, this is awesome. Seeing how it's being played. Seeing Alex go crazy. Seeing Paolo tapping. Seeing Corey solo. Seeing Matt go crazy. <sighs> it's good. It's good. And then they recommend Court of the Dragon, of course. In the court, it's, I like how this song is... It, 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 there is some... Eh, 
slight similarities to In Court of the Dragon because it's Trivium, but the fact is Feast of Fire definitely feels like a very different type of song. So it tells me that In the Court of the Dragon is going to be another Trivium album, which most of our albums are like this. There's going to be a variety of songs on there. And I saw where they were tweeting saying that there are some seven plus minute songs, which I'm really excited for. And apparently there's a song that was taken from the Shogun era that's on this album, like I guess reworked into making a song that didn't go on Shogun. I don't know, but my God, I'm so excited for this. And I like this because it, because it, it shows the variety because in the court of the dragon, they didn't announce that it was the album, but it was kind of clear that something's up here, right? Why would they have a new song without, you know, a new album coming, but who knows? You never know. Hearing this, you hear the difference. You see there is a clear difference in this song to In the Court of the Dragon in terms of certain structure and certain ways they uh, wrote the riffs and how they put the song together. And you kind of compare the two. There are some differences there. So it shows there's a, there's a variety coming. And I'm, I cannot wait for this album. I, I love Trivium to death. I can't get enough of them. They were uh, co-headlining uh, my first ever metal show that I went to back in 2008. Uh, they were co-headlining with All That Remains. I think it was Human Abstract, 36 Crazy Fist. Was that the name of the band, 36 Crazy Fist? Maybe I'm remembering that name wrong. But then it was All That Remains and then Trivium. And Trivium blew the fucking doors off. And this was before Shogun even came out. But there were some Shogun songs, but, you know, they were playing the older stuff before Shogun. My God. So I cannot wait for this. Feast of Fire, great song, great music video, seeing them actually perform it, seeing the bass tapping. It's just, it's it's phenomenal. And a, and a false ending. So there you have it. Uh, what would you guys think of Trivium, Feast of Fire? I'm curious to know what you guys thought about this song. I really enjoyed it, and I'm curious to know what you guys thought about it. Let me know in the comments below this video what you thought about this new song from Trivium. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.